1,044 ship workers come in, but government is totally unprepared. 876 Report, we keep you in the know. The Jamaican's health ministry, Dr. Christopher Tufton, says the local health system is totally unprepared for more than 1,000 ship workers due to arrive in Falmouth Trelawney on Monday. The Jamaicans aboard Royal Caribbean Cruise Line's Adventure of the Seas, which departed the Dominica Republic on Saturday after disembarking its nationals in La Ramana. I knew nothing of it, except tonight I am learning. We will have to seek further information, Tufton said. Tufton described the impending return of the Jamaicans as a surprise, saying he became aware of it only moments earlier. He could not say whether other government ministries were aware. On May 2, Foreign Affairs Ministry Kamina Johnson-Smith tweeted a copy of a letter from Royal Caribbean confirming that it was in discussion with the government to repatriate Jamaican crew members via the ship. The correspondence also said the crew members would be quarantined on board. Last night, one of the Jamaican crew members told that in preparation for repatriation, some of the Jamaicans on board the Adventure of the Seas have been in quarantine for a month. Others who have transferred to that vessel from another have been in quarantine for almost a week and so, as announced by the captain. Although the ship will arrive in Falmouth on May 18, there will be no disembarkation until May 23, that's after 15 days quarantine for the transfer batch. The woman, who's in her 30s, said while the cruise line has done its best to make the workers comfortable, fatigue has now set in as they struggle to continue life in cabin confinement. To compound the issue, she said, the workers cannot come to terms with the reported lack of readiness to accept them. It's crazy. Like, seriously, are we refugees? She questioned. Government has imposed restrictions on incoming passengers as a part of measures to contain the coronavirus in Jamaica. People are, however, being allowed to come back home through the controlled re-entry program, but they must spend 14 days in the mandatory state quarantine. At present, 600 people are in state quarantine or isolation, including three batches of Jamaicans who returned in the past week and a half, stretching the resources of the health system. The first batch comprised of workers of the Marella Discovery 2 who have been denied landed in April while anchored in south part of Port Royal. In terms of quarantine and assessment, we would have to spend some time to plan the logistics of that, but right now it would be very difficult, Tufton warned last night. Furthermore, the health ministry said cruise lines sometimes provide inaccurate information. He cited the six repatriated Morello cruise ship workers who recently test positive for the coronavirus, although the local health ministries were assured that all crew members were COVID-free. We would do everything in our own assessment in protection of the general population, Tufton said, insisting that it was rather unfortunate that the government was being surprised in this manner. According to the health ministry, it appears that the cruise industry is forcing the hand of the government and that would be an indication of bad faith. However, Tufton said the government will have to find a way to handle the situation, which will require significant planning. Thank you for listening 876 Report. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for further news.